check out the new driveway. At this point we had uh, both of the 15 to 18 ton loads drop spread and we did some grading on that. Second pass, starting to look better already. I said to Phil, I said, hey, let's hop on your electric and follow the dump truck. So he's like, give me your phone. He grabs my phone and he starts running. Get some, you're gonna need, you know, a few loads. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some, but we wanna get it at least a little bit of a dressing right now. I mean, I'll run over it without the scarifiers first see and how see does. how it does. Kind of knock that into to blend that in a little bit. Okay. And uh, I got a little bit more if I need to come back here, but I didn't want to put too much down and then and then reverse crown it. Yeah. It's been filling in, and then I let natural erosion cut some of that for now, and uh, it's been working, so I just want to dress it up a little bit. I know I need to get snow. That's what I'm going to Yeah, I mean, I'd be hesitant to, I mean, I'll run the rake, but... Yeah, I wouldn't scarify anything. Let me yeah. just get stone, and we'll just keep top dressing it with fresh stone. All right, we decided uh, we got some stone coming, a couple, two, three loads. To go ahead and run the rake. It is cold and windy out there today, so I'm not running the scarifiers. We're just going to try and get it leveled out, uh, and then we'll add some stone, a fresh layer of CA6. All right, first pass on the opposite side now. Second pass, starting to look better already. We're starting to pull. Alright, so this right hand ditch here, he's got three inch stone that he put in here. This is where all the water runs down this driveway. It comes down this uh, gutter on the side and goes under a culvert. So I'm going to run this throughout the day several times and try to blend in the dirt into, into his uh, three inch stone. And then when we get new small stone, I'm going to try and blend it all together and make it look a little bit better. third pass uh, them gullies are from larger rock uh, so we may have to kick some of them off of the road for a better grade but we'll do that on the final grade definitely improvement you can see all right fifth pass I think we're on cold out there. I wish, I wish on some of the properties we were buying, the seller was as diligent as Phil is. This edge is going to need a layer of stone. It was dirt built up about uh, probably at least three inches, so it had a lane dip and then it was dirt out here. I got it pretty well knocked down now. Trying to uh, take the, the clay that I'm peeling up and put it off to the side up here. All right, this is uh, like four, I think four passes now. We got a load of stone coming right now. He's drop spreading. I'm gonna have him drop spread two loads and then I'm gonna blend it all in together. But the shape is starting to, uh, you know, fill in some of the dips and the low spots and peeling off the high spots. Almost could have used another couple passes before the fresh stone, but it's just a patch up for uh, uh, selling it. it. Um, you know, tighten up the bad spots, but obviously it's looking way better already. You gotta spread it thin too. 
All right, that works. Yeah, you may not, uh, especially if you get a couple dump loads. Sure. Oh, I'm like, wow, I'm like, wow, there's all this stone. I forgot he dropped spread it right here. So I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll just leave that clay mix in with it a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty now. That looks pretty. All right, so we're having two big loads, probably 18, 20 tons on the big ones, and he's got a couple of DIY loads here. Oh, it's even out here. And cold. Little stretch of woods here. Sure is nice in the cab, that's for sure. I was messaging or uh, responding to comments. I think it's photo control. They're up in, I think, British Columbia or Canada up there, and they're, they're wanting to get a cab tractor someday. Everything's so expensive, and I said, "Well, you know, best of luck. Once you go cab, you never go back." I mean, I'm still paying our RX off. I got uh, probably another year and a half, two years, but I think I'm going to pay it off uh, after the closing. Uh, it's supposed to be Wednesday. Today's Monday. Keep rolling, check back in. Yeah, so I said to Phil, I said, hey, let's hop on your electric and follow the dump truck drop spreading. And he started and he's like, well, the electric is out of charge. So he's like, give me your phone. So he grabs my phone and he starts running. For a poor man's drone view following the dump truck tailgating we'll see how that video turns out I wish I had video of him running and chasing it down though that's dedicated though I'll tell you what That's dedicated. Did you get a good workout in? I got a little bit of a workout. Ah, uh, we should have told them to hug this side. Oh, but, we should have. But I, I can pull this from the middle over there. Bit. Yeah. At least we still got a crown though. I like oh yeah, that's the crown looks really good. Okay, second load just came, and we got a bucket load in a couple of meaty spots, and then I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull the stone with the uh, TR3 into them needy spots also.
All right, one of the many features I like about the TR3 is if I tilt it forward more, I can use it as a box blade, as you see here. So the front um, rakes, if you will, will actually move a large amount of material. And then if I hit the tilt, the hydraulic tilt, and tilt it back, it'll start releasing that excess material and then just work on the final grade. So it really works nice to move material with that um, front floating rake. It's, I actually have it locked in right now as a box blade function. On the right was the, uh, the really bucky, dirty spot. So we're, we'll have a nice layer, probably two inches over top of it. Oh, look at how pretty this looks back here. He dumped that pile right here underneath us. Right, so at this point we had uh, both of the 15 to 18 ton loads drop spread and we did some grading on that so now we're working on our uh, DIY loads if you will hitting the spots that were kind of really in need of a little bit more so we're going to spot work these spots and then finish this thing out here pretty quick. Trying to get some in that little crevice right there. push this pile backwards and get it filled in. now we're on the bottom end of the driveway where we did not uh, drop spread any so basically we're just adding a really thin layer of the new looking gravel so that I can blend it in so that the whole driveway looks uniform like it has a new layer on the entire thing all right finishing it up 
last flight. Good deal. Turned out really nice. It's like a whole new driveway. Check out the new driveway. 